Welcome back. We're here at MJ Harrington's right on Main Street in Newport. And joining me now is Karen Provost. She is with the Girl Scouts of the Green and the White Mountains. Thank you for coming. Thanks All for having way, us. You came up from Bedford to see us. I did. Now, because the weather is getting a little better, we're into May, camp season is coming our way. So uh, Girl Scout camps have been time honored. I mean, they've been around since the beginning of time, it seems like. Yep. How do you tell if your kid is ready to go to camp? Um, if your kid, your kid is ready for, to go to camp if they're asking about going to camp. Uh -huh. That's usually a really good sign. They hear that you know, their friend has gone to camp or they've heard a, another girl in the class is going to camp or something like that. So if they're asking about it. Yeah. Um, they're also ready if they've had experiences sleeping over at other people's houses. Okay. It's not exactly the same as sleeping over at grandma and grandpa's house, but <laughs> you know, if they've slept over at a girlfriend's house or you know, a friend's house has been a, a sleepover birthday party or something like that. So if they're, if they're asking about it and if they've had some experience is already going yeah. off to camp. But that's for resident camp. There's also day camp and most oh, kids are ready for day camp sure. um, pretty early on. It's you know it's about getting outside and having something fun to do in the summer. So mm -hmm. day camp they're ready a little earlier than maybe. And for what overnight. ages? Just to, uh, an estimate for both the day um, camp and then the overnight. Well it really depends. Our day camps start kindergarten, kids entering kindergarten come to day camp. Um, typically resident camp is a little bit older, mm -hmm. um, you know eight, nine years old, although we do have programs at our camp for kindergarten, kindergarten kids. Really? We for do. sleepover? That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so tell me, how do you get prepared for camp? Um, there's a lot of ways to do it. I think the important things is, one of the important things is to make sure that you're communicating with your child what the camp experience is going to be like. If they've never mm -hmm. been, you mm -hmm. want to make sure that you're going to the open house. That's really critical oh, because yes. you get to camp, you get to walk around, you meet some of the staff. Okay. Um, so if they get off the bus on the first day of day camp or they're being dropped off for a resident camp on their very first day, it's not, this is, I've never been here, I don't know right. what this place is. And as, the, as long as the family has gone with them, then the camper knows that the parent knows exactly exactly where they are. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's some other things. I think it's important um, as they're packing for camp, whether it's day camp or overnight camp, that the child helps pack the bags. There's nothing worse that for a day camp director to hold up a t-shirt at the end of the day and say, this is your shirt, and the kid says, no, it's not, or this is your towel, and the kid says, no, it's not. They don't even recognize it They don't it even recognize their own mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So help them pack, you know, work together, and, and mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to buy new clothes because, first of all, they're going to get really <laughs> dirty at camp, but again, the child's not going to recognize what they have. Right. Um, and it, for overnight camp, I always recommend that the child live out of the suitcase or the trunk that they're bringing to camp, you know, pack up that stuff, you know, a week or two before they go to camp yeah. um, and have them practice, you know, finding their clothes in the morning, using the laundry bag at night um, and things like that. And also there's a lot of things that, that kids don't often know how to do for themselves, you know, especially a girl. Can she put her own ponytail in her hair? Sure. Um, you know, has she, does she shower, you know, by herself without any right. assistance, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so those are things you might not think about. Right, just get them ready. And as a camp director, I'm going to say it for all the camp directors out there, make sure you mark everything they bring to camp <laughs> with their names on it. Get a Sharpie. <laughs> get a Sharpie or a, or a stamp with their name and laundry ink. Um, you know, mark everything because they have a better chance of bringing their clothing and belongings yeah. home if their names are on it. Yeah, but, yeah. How do you get over some of the sleepover issues, the kids that may not be comfortable with that? Um, I think, again, that's part Partly preparation, you know, yeah. if the child is comfortable being at camp, um, it's important for the parents to express confidence that the child can mm -hmm. do camp. If the parent says, oh, you know, yeah, I'm going to miss you so much while you're right. away, then the child's going to be thinking mm -hmm. about home a whole lot. Um, it's, very, it's very normal to experience homesickness. Everybody experiences it a little bit, mm -hmm. some, some more than others. Um, and, and it's, you know, sending positive letters um, mm -hmm. and letting the counselors know that potentially your child is going to have a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we do at times get the family involved. We'll call a parent if a mm -hmm. child is really, really struggling. Yes. Yeah. Um, but typically it's, you know, sending nice positive letters, leaving. Um, when, my, when my own children went to camp, I used to leave a note under their pillow um, when we dropped them off at camp. Cute. Um, and yeah. just, just have them understand that, you know, it's, it's a week away and they're going to be having so much fun. Right. And it'll go by quickly. It, it'll go by quickly, mm -hmm. you know, when, they, when they're having those tough times. I mean, the hardest time for the homesickness is in the evening when they're going to bed and right. they're remembering the home routines. And they're tired at that time too, so right. that's hard. Hard, yeah. Right. So what do you think makes Girl Scout Camp 
stand out from other camps? Um, one of the big things about Girl Scout camp is that we're very much girl led. Mm -hmm. Other camps can tell you that the schedule of the day is going to be, you know, you get up in the morning, you have breakfast at this time, and then you have, you know, clean your cabin, and then you go swimming, and then you have horseback riding and arts and crafts and, and so on. At Girl Scout camp, we have um, the girls actually know, they get introduced to all the programs at camp, yeah. and then they get to choose what they would like to do as a group. Uh, so if they really liked boating, they can do extra boating during the week. Yeah. If they really liked archery, they can do extra archery. Um, but we don't set a schedule that says this is what you're going to do when you get to camp. Okay. Wow, perfect. Well, that's great. The best place to find more information certainly is online. You've got a terrific website. You yes. can take a look at all the different camps, what they have to offer, the different weeks that are available. Yeah. If you find that that's good. And you've got a helpful staff, too. So if anybody had questions, you could just call the Absolutely. home office. So Absolutely. good. Glad camp season is here. And thanks so much for the information. You're welcome. Take care, Karen. Many thanks to our host for the past three weeks, MJ Harrington and Company. Remember MJ Harrington for all your jewelry repair needs as well. Their talented goldsmiths perform all jewelry repair in-house and offer a wide range of jewelry repair services. Their knowledgeable and friendly staff will help explain repair procedures and options at Taken. All jewelry repairs are completed on site with the utmost quality and care and carry the MJ Harrington and Company customer satisfaction guarantee. Don't forget the YCN News Now every weekday at 5.30 and 11 p.m. on WYCX and at 7 and 10 p.m. on WYCU. The news and all of our shows can be seen anytime online at YCNnow.com. Thank you to Larkson Nightingales in New London for wardrobe assistance today. I'm Lynn Solomon. Join us at this same time next week for an all-new Care Stars Chronicles.